Hi boys and girls. Today I have a book for you that is all about squirrels. Today's book was written by Lynn Watanabe. Look carefully at this animal. You may have seen an animal that looks like this high in a tree or running along the ground. You may have seen such an animal eating nuts or jumping through the air. This is a squirrel. Do you have squirrels at your house? Squirrels are small animals in the rodent family. There are more than 200 species of squirrels and they live all over the world except for Antarctica. That's down here and it's very cold there. Most squirrels have small bodies and padded feet. See, it says body and it points at its body. Their feet have claws that help them dig into the ground and grab onto trees. See his claws? Squirrels have two big eyes to see the animals and plants that are around them and to help them stay safe from danger. Squirrels also have four front teeth. The teeth do not stop growing, so squirrels can use them a lot without wearing them away. What do you think they need sharp teeth for? Squirrels use their tails to help keep them their balance. They can also use their tails for shade to protect them from rain and as a blanket. Some squirrels even use their tail to help them move when they are swimming. Squirrels eat nuts, seeds, fruits, berries, and insects. Specific types of squirrels eat other foods too. The foods squirrels eat are connected to the environment in which they live. Remember, environment means all the things that are around us in our world. Some squirrels bury or hide food such as seeds or nuts to store them for winter. The seeds or nuts they do not eat may grow into plants or trees. There are three different kinds of squirrels. Tree squirrels, ground squirrels, and flying squirrels. Tree squirrels and ground squirrels are named this way because that's where they live. Flying squirrels also live in trees, but they are named this way because they seem to fly. Tree squirrels are the most common type of squirrel. They live in places where there are many trees, such as parks and wooded areas. Tree squirrels are good climbers. They make nests in tree branches or in tree holes to live in and to raise their babies. Ground squirrels make burrows or tunnels in the ground where they live. Ground squirrels watch each other to keep one another safe. They can warn each other using a whistling call when there is danger. Flying squirrels do not actually fly. They put their arms and legs out as they jump or glide from one branch to another. Because they spend their time high in the trees, flying squirrels live in nests or tree holes. See him poking his little head out? Tree squirrels, ground squirrels, and flying squirrels are connected to their environment in special ways. What are some ways that each kind of squirrel is connected to the animals, plants, and earth features in its environment? The next time you are outside, see, the, see whether you can spot a squirrel. What's it doing? What type of squirrel is it? And how do you know? They, the end. You'll have to look around outside next time you're out there and see if you can spot a squirrel.